Welcome, friends, to this video. We're going to build a game in Python. The game today is Battleship. We're going to build a single player game that's really simple where we will play against a computer. The computer will generate five ships on a board and then we'll guess those five ships. There are a lot of other iterations that we can do to this game. I'm going to uh, save those for another video uh, to extend on to this one. So this one's gonna be the first basic fundamentals. So uh, let's get started and we'll start by kind of uh, running through the functions, just uh, describing the handful of functions that we need to build. And then we'll do the run, a main basically to run all the functions and then we'll play the game. So let's get started. Oh, and I forgot, we'll also uh, start with a few of the variables. So all right, let's, so, so let's start there. All right, so first, uh, if you're familiar with Battleship, uh, the board game, you have two boards. You have a board that you are looking at here and a board that you have hidden from your competitor. So the board that is hidden is where you will put your battleships that you guess, and then the board down here is one that you'll guess the other player. Uh, so since this is only a one player game, we're only gonna have those two boards. We're gonna have one called hidden and one called guess board. Uh, so let's create those. Uh, we're gonna make, um, you can make any size here. Uh, in this one, we're gonna do eight by eight. That's the standard size. Uh, this would be ideal for larger ships, uh, which we'll get to, but for now, we're gonna create an eight by eight board, and then we'll have five ships on the board, but those ships are just gonna be taking up single uh, spaces to make it easy. All right, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll uh, do a first one called hidden board, and then we're gonna do a, uh, space in the hidden board. And then we're gonna multiply that by eight and then we'll do a loop. So four X in range, and then we'll do a range of eight. So uh, it's gonna be zero through seven, uh, exclusive eight. So that's why we put eight in there. And then we'll do the same thing and I'll call this one guest board. And this one will be, yeah, the same size. Okay, so the hidden board will hold our ships. The guess board will hold our guesses, either our hits and misses. And if you would like the, uh, I have comments that I put in the code on GitHub. I'll put that in the description so you can uh, have access to this comment. So we're gonna keep it uh, for brevity. We're gonna keep it short. And then also if you have any uh, suggestions on this, uh, you know, feel free to add those in the comments below. All right, so now let's do a print. We're gonna wanna see the board. So we'll do a function called called define board. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna pass and we'll come back and we'll do those. I just kinda wanna give you a high view of what this game looks like. Uh, the next one is uh, actually above that, we're gonna need one, uh, a letters to numbers. We're gonna need a way to convert letters to numbers. And uh, yeah, it's actually already filled in for us. So A, which you'll, when we print the board, you'll see this, but A is gonna convert to zero, B is gonna convert to one, C is two, D is three, all the way up to, and uh, I probably would capitalize those, but either way, it'll work. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do this a little bit, yeah. Just because in my code, I have, in my example, I have a, uh, whoop. I have uh, changed it, everything to uppercase. So I apologize for the painful change here. Okay. All right. So. The next function that we'll do is, uh, let's see, we want to get the ship location. So we'll call that get ship location. And what that one's going to do is we will ask the user for what row and what column they want to guess the ship. So that's what the, that function will do. The next one, oh yeah, I did skip one. I want to do is uh, is create the ship. So create 
ships. Ugh. All right. So that one. And then I believe we have one more, which would be count the ships. So this one would be count uh, hit ships. And what this one will do is it'll count every time you have a hit. And if you hit all five, we're going to have five, then the game's over. So we want to be able to count those. And then I believe, uh, yeah, that's it for the function. So we'll come back and define those in a bit. Uh, when we are going to start our game, we're basically going to create the ships and then we're going to have, uh, we're going to go with 10 turns. And then, so we'll do while uh, turns is greater than zero, once it gets, starts at 10 and counts down, then we'll uh, do the game. So before I go on and build the run game, let's go ahead and go back and b finish out our function. So, and then we'll build our run. So let's uh, print board. This should be print board. Oh, this happened. I don't want that import yet. So print underscore board, and we are going to pass in board. That is correct. Okay, so let's see here. Now, for printing our board, what we're gonna do is print a first column here and this one here is basically just going to be a header and it's going to display a through h and essentially we're going to need to translate that that's what we're doing here to these numbers but for our display we want them as letters so that's going to be our column and then we'll print another column here as just a separator of those lines just before we start the board and now we can start looping through our list of our board, so zero through seven. And the way that we would do that is, yeah, four, uh, first we want to start with a row, uh, we'll call it row number is equal to one. So we'll start with one. That's going to be, it's going to show us on the board one through eight. So we'll start with one and then we'll loop through the board. So four row in board, and then we'll print uh, I'm going to do this a little bit different. This is, uh, this is kind of an older version of Python. So if you have a better way, leave, uh, you know, comment on the video, but th I found this one actually works. So I just ended up using it. So I, uh, let's see, we have a percent D for decimal, and then we'll do a percent S for string. And then we will do a, uh, percent percent, which basically means format. And then we're going to take our row number that we've declared. So that's one through eight. And then we're going to do uh, da, da, da. a pipe, which is going, uh, let, me, let me type this out and then I'll explain what's happening here. I don't really want that there. Okay. I uh, just want that. Okay, so we're get, for each row that we're iterating, iterating through, through the board, we're going to join a a uh, pipe. So that's a separator, and then uh, so basically you'll you'll see it here. But we'll have row number, which is going to be starting with one through eight, and then we'll have through the eight versions of that, we'll have a separator and we're going to join that in for each row and then we're going to do that eight times so that will print our board and then we have to do one more thing and that is increment by one so when we go through this for loop we'll do it one time and then we'll increment by one and then we'll uh we'll do it one more time so i'm missing something here let's see row number Pipe dot join row. Okay, what am I missing here? Row underscore number equals one. Uh, yeah, that should work. Row number 
plus equals 1. Okay, what am I missing here? Row numbers 1, uh, 4 row and board, print decimal string, set row number, yep, comma, pipe dot join, and row. Oh, I do need a friendly bracket there. There we go. One thing I like about this is these are color coded, so it makes it easier to catch those brackets or, or parentheses. All right, let's keep moving on. All right, now create ships. What we're going to do with this is that we're going to play against the computer. The computer is going to generate ships randomly on our board for us. So in order to do that, we're going to need random. So we'll do from random import rand int. And then we'll come down here and we'll start using that. So first we'll loop through the uh, number five range because we're going to have five ships. So we're going to do that five times. And what we'll do is we need a ship row and we need a ship column. And we're going to do that randomly. So we'll say ran int. And that will be zero, seven. So basically ship row is going to be a random number between zero and seven and the ship column random number between zero and seven. I forgot in here. All right. Now we want to do kind of a check to see if it's already taken. So let's say that we've placed an X on the board and then it comes randomly chooses it again. We want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So the way we would do that is we could do while board a ship row and then ship column and we want to check it to see if it's equal to x because x is where we're going to place a marker so just so you know let's uh let's do a quick legend here so our legend is going to be x for are placing our battleship and hit battleship. And then also is the, uh, the uh, do a space for miss, uh, for no available space and then we're going to do a hyphen for a missed shot. Okay, so X for the ship and on the hidden one, and then X for the hit one on the guess one, and then a space is available on the guess one, and then a, a minus for a, is on if you missed the shot. All right, so let's continue down here. So we have while board, we're going to need to pass in board, I believe, here, yes. So while board ship row ship colon, if there's an X, meaning there has already been placed one, then we want to run it again. So this would be pick a ship row and a ship column at random. Then there is board. So if that works, then this will go ahead and run uh, or it'll rerun basically. And then once that has found a available position, we'll go ahead and place it on the board. So we'll do board ship row ship column and place to X. Now notice the double equals here means comparison. So it basically means check if, and then the single equal means set. So that means check if X exists. And then down here means set X. All right. So that really completes, uh, our creating of five ships. Now let's go on to setting our location or getting our location. So the way we can do that is we'll need two parts. We'll have row we're going to look for. And so let's input, ask for input, and we'll say, 
Uh, please enter a ship row. One through eight. And then we need to uppercase that because they could enter lowercase. So if you remember, I changed these to uppercase just to be consistent. So if they enter upper or lower, either way, it will match. So now we wanna do similar checks to see if they enter something other than eight. So we can do another here, another while loop and say while row not in, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we wanna make sure that it's in one of those row numbers. Then we'll go ahead and print a message. So please enter a valid row and then run it again, basically. And keep running it until they, so this while loop means they'll, you need to keep running it until you get a valid number between one and eight. And then column, we'll do that one. So we've got a row, now we'll do our columns, same thing here, except now it's A through H. And let me back up, I made a mistake. You don't need to uppercase numbers, you need to uppercase letters. So this one needs to be uppercase, not these. And then, uh, We'll do the similar here. So while column not in A through H, then print them a message, say it's not valid, and go ahead and repeat that same step. And then we're, when we're all done, both capturing the row and the column, we wanna return them. So we'll return our row and our column. This doesn't need to be, this is, so, we're gonna turn return row, actually this is gonna be an integer row, and then we also wanna subtract one because we're gonna give it a number, let's say one, but it's actually gonna land in the zero of the list. So we, do, we wanna subtract one. And then here is where we're going to convert, so letters to numbers, which say A or whatever we're giving it, and then we'll give it, pass it the column that we're giving it. So. That should complete. Now there is one more thing that I didn't add and that is there is a bug that if you don't enter anything, if you leave it blank, then it will have a problem with a crash. So you could do that, a try and accept. Uh, I just didn't have time here to put it in, but I did wanna add that. So it'd probably be better to wrap these in a try and accept and and that would probably be a, probably a better solution. All right. so. Well, uh, this will work for now, so let's keep going here and do our count hit ship. So this is basically means if you have all five, then complete the game. So we'll start a counter at zero, and then we'll do a uh, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. we'll do a um, loop through board, and we're going to pass in guest board here. Oh, actually, no, we're just gonna pass in board. We'll give it guest board later on. I'll explain that when we get to the running our, our game. So we're gonna loop through the board, so four row in board. And then we also need a four row, or four column in row, I guess. So we're gonna loop through each row and then each column, and we're gonna check to see if there's an X exists. If there is an X, then we're gonna increase the counter by one. So once that gets to five, what we'll do is return count. And then later on, we'll check to see if it's five, then it's done. Uh, this is basically gonna run 64 times, so it's not it's not a huge uh, problem here. So I think it'll be okay. All right, so that will count if all five ships are done. All right, so now we're getting close. We just need to now run our game. So I've created this here, so that's gonna create five ships and we want to pass the hidden board because uh, it's gonna create five ships on the board that we can't see. And then we're gonna say, we're gonna give us, gives ourselves 10 turns. Uh, before we move on, let's go ahead and print the board just so you can kind of see what it looks like. We'll, we'll print both the hidden board and the guest board. So let's go ahead and run that 
Uh, well, no, I can't do that yet, can I? So we'll just print, print it this way. Okay. All right, so here you can see the computer has generated five ships for us. And then here is basically what our guest board looks like. So we're gonna be picking a row and we're gonna be picking a column. So this is kind of a good way to visualize how that's gonna work. All right, so now you kind of see that. Let's, uh, let's start by our game. So while turns is greater than zero. So we're gonna have 10 turns and we're gonna subtract a turn each time we play. So first, I think what we'll do is print a welcome message. Welcome to Battleship. All right. Then what we want to do is print the guest board so you kind of have an idea of what it looks like where you're guessing. Okay. And now we can start our guessing. So we'll do row, we need, a, we need a row and we need a column. And we're gonna call the get ship location. So basically we're gonna ask for a row and a column. And then we're gonna start here. And now we're gonna do some checks. So we'll say if guess board is row at column is equal to, I'm gonna save myself some typing. maybe row column instead of X, I'm going to change this. So remember how we had in our legend, this is for a mess a hyphen. So we're going to check to see if we've already guessed that and we'll print, you've already guessed that and it'll just keep looping on through. So just so they know. All right, next we'll say, check the hidden board. So that's where the computer generated ships and the row and column we choose if there's an x so x up here is a place where a ship was placed then we know that we have a hit so we'll print a message say congratulations you have hit the battleship all right and now we need to mark that on the guest board. So at row at column, now notice here, double X means check to see if there's an X. And if now that, uh, if there is not, uh, then go ahead and print or actually set it to X. Actually, no, this, yeah, that's correct. If hidden board row column X. Yeah, in, okay, so in the hidden board, we wanna see if there's an X. And then if there is, we've got a hit, so we wanna mark that on the guest board with an X. So check if, and then set to. And then in the rules of battleship, you decrease a turn and the next player goes. We could uh, keep playing since we score. We could not take a turn if you want to do that. I'm just going off the, the rules. All right. And then the last one is if you have a miss. So what we can do there is print, sorry, you missed. I'll just add another message here. Sorry, you missed. And then what we want to do is add to our guest board a miss here. All right, and now we also want to decrement a turn minus one. And then we have a couple more things to do here. We want to check to see if all the ships are uh, guessed. So if you look at this function up here, we want to count ships. So we're basically going to say count ships, pass in our guest board. So if we have five X's basically, we'll say print a message, all the ships have been sunk and break out of it, meaning game over and you'll won. We also wanna check one more to say if you're out of turns. So first we'll print 
how many turns that they have. So if you remember, we started at 10 and each time we decreased one. So what we can say is, uh, yeah, this would work. I'm going to change it a little bit. You have, I'm going to do it the newer Pythonic way string, which would be turns and then plus turns remaining. All right, so basically that's our string and then it's gonna call on how many turns we have. And then we'll do one more check and we'll say if turns equal to zero, then give them a message that game is over. So essentially it's gonna break out anyway when it hits zero, but we want the user to know that their game is over. It should be comparison. So we're gonna print that message, sorry, game over. Sorry, you, you ran out of turns, the game, oops, game is over. All right, so now I think we're ready to run it. Uh, I don't see any problems yet, so let's see. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna do, uh, we're gonna check for a couple things. We're gonna make sure that we can win and that we can lose. So in order to make this easy that we can win, I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna print the hidden board and we'll play against the computer. First, what we're gonna do is make sure that we can win. So here's the five ships that is generated for us. So I'm gonna copy this. And so I should get five out of five, yes. So printer a uh, ship between, or print our row. So our first one, here's what we're looking at. So it's gonna be 4B. So 4B. Now you can't see what I'm, I should have had a little space in here. I can fix that on the next one so it looks better. Anyway, we have a hit. The next one is going to be uh, C, 5C, 5C, we have a hit. And the next one is going to be 6D, I hope I get this right, yes. Oh, it looks like it just keeps going down in that order. Uh, and then F, 7F, how random, huh? That's a little bit random. And then the next one is E, 8E. All right, so we got all five and it says, congratulations, you have hit the battleships and sunk the battleships and the game's over. Now let's make a slight, slight improvement here. I'm gonna do colon space, same thing here, colon space and colon space, that way our input looks better. All right, so now we're just going to do misses. We're gonna to need to do this 10 times. Actually, let's just make this easier. We'll change this to, let's say three. No, we're gonna need six, just in case we were to get all five. Uh, well, yeah, let's just run that, that's fine. All right, so one, A, two, Oh, we did get a hit. A, three, A, four, A, five, A, six, A. All right, so it says, sorry, that was our sixth turn. Sorry you run out of turns, the game is over. All right, yeah, uh, yeah, I think overall, I mean, this is pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully that helps if you're um, trying to learn Python and make a game. I uh, hope you found this helpful. Leave any questions, comments, suggestions below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Python video. So long.